Welcome to Madison HG Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. I'm here with head coach Lauren Steinbrecher with the women's volleyball team for our week one coaches show. Lauren, preseason is winding down, and your regular season begins Friday. How is the team looking so far? Uh, after getting to watch them train for three weeks, I, I say that there's definitely a ton of potential, and I'm so excited about what this season holds for this group. Um, but to be clear, we are not there yet. Uh, we still have a lot of things to work out and improve on, uh, but the pieces are absolutely there. I thought, you know, I think that our offense can be exceptional this season. Uh, our serving has been really good, just overall ball control is good, and just the ability for all of our players to embrace their roles and, and to help the team in any way they can has been huge this season. And you open up at home this weekend with yeah. the JMU Classic, and you'll face Lehigh, Northern Arizona, mm -hmm. and St. Francis College. What are you kind of expecting from those four games? Great question. Uh, St. Francis College is our home opener, and that's the game where obviously we haven't seen them play, they haven't seen us play, and it's all about what you do on your side of the net. And so we need to play disciplined volleyball, you know, really good eye sequencing and take care of the ball, and then be able to make changes and see trends as the match goes on um, to stop their key players and key rotations and such. So um, really that'll be fun just to, just to play volleyball, straight up volleyball. And then we have a lot of really good opponents opponents as well this weekend. We play Northern Arizona Friday night. Uh, they're coming off their best season in program history, picked to finish second in the Big Sky uh, with five returners. And that's also a team that was top 10 in the country defensively last year and had some really impressive offensive numbers. So uh, we're expecting a really tough competition uh, Friday night, and we got to be ready to battle and to play disciplined volleyball. Um, but it doesn't stop there. We turn around Saturday and play another really good team in Lehigh. Uh, again, picked to finish second in the Patriot League. Uh, a lot of key returners and coming off another 20-win season, well coached. And I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have to be ready to battle this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then after those three games, you'll also host Florida, and yeah. with four games in one weekend, what yeah. is the team looking, such as endurance and conditioning, and what have they been doing both in the off-season and in the preseason to prepare? Absolutely. I mean, we could be playing 16, 20 sets in two days, and so, uh, well, first of all, to get Florida in our, in our uh, gym is huge. They are picked fourth in the country right now. Uh, we'll have the opportunity to play against future Olympians and a national championship contender. And so we're super excited. It's fun to play those teams anytime, but to play them on our home court is huge. Um, so we're definitely excited for that. We have nothing to lose, and that's one of those games where you just go all out and, and try and steal away as many points as you can. Uh, and then... As far as preseason training and summer training, uh, the girls were here all summer. They were lifting, working out, uh, playing together. And you can really tell, as a coach, you finish your spring season and you hope that when they report in preseason, they haven't lost anything. Well, this team came back better than they finished spring, and that's really hard to do without a coach. And so I, I give a lot of credit to our captains and to our senior leaders for uh, helping the team accomplish that. And you already touched on it a little, but go back just to what it means to have number four Florida come to Harrisonburg and have JMU on the map for those nationally ranked teams. Absolutely. You know, I think that uh, guaranteed this is the best team that's ever played in Godwin uh, volleyball wise. And so it's great for our community to come watch these, you know, future Olympians and high-level volleyball. Um, but And it's great for our players. It's, it's a great experience to say, you know, the, in five years maybe I'm watching this, this person compete for our country. And so, I mean, they're a fantastic team, very well coached. They're going to be disciplined. They're going to be extremely physical. Uh, so we're just going to go out there with nothing to lose and, and play hard. Well, Lauren, thank you so much. We look forward to talking with you next week, hopefully with four wins under your belt, and good luck <laughs> this weekend. Thank you, Kelly.